Many people think that they have creative skills, artistic abilities, and computer talents. That doesn't automatically make you a graphic designer, a video producer, or anything like that. Now, it is true that people do study that, they do produce things, and they do do things. But someone who takes someone else's brand to try to do things has failed the law. You see, there are legal ramifications for trying to take over someone's brand. You don't have the right to take someone's logo or cut it apart to use it. You don't have the right to take someone's brand motto and use it. I own several brands as programs underneath my Blaze Communications LLC. My Japanese language program has a couple different names as it evolved over time. It has just a few taglines that we used regularly in marketing ourselves over 15 motherfucking years. And openly, I still own that company and still have plans for it. I produced a manufacturing dictionary in my storage unit. Who the fuck took those papers from me? Somebody took some of those papers and shredded them on me, and I'm pretty sure that was maintenance boys playing in my house like I had toys for them to play with. And openly, I couldn't prove it. It's just, who else had a key to my apartment? Only one sibling had a key to my apartment, but what I found missing from my house was intimate objects. What I found happening in my apartment was things being moved around on my sink. Who the fuck was letting themselves in my house and playing around? I also found tubs of my property often missing and then coming back. Who's got my photographic equipment that I own? Who's got my studio equipment that's mine? Who has my green screen? I'd like to know where is mine. 